Welcome guys, in this video we are going to talk about Postman. If you are doing any work with APIs, any serious work, then you require any tool for testing the API. And Postman is one of the most used tools. Now, you can download it straight away for your Windows, Apple, and Linux systems. And also you need an account, so you need to create a free account. You can see sign up for free. I already have an account in this. Now also another website I want to talk about is the JSON placeholder. We are going to use in this tutorial uh, to get the uh, data because uh, this basically provides us the uh, API data, test demo API data. So you can see that it's uh, have some data here. Now when you first install the post menu will come on this screen after login because we lo I already logged in here. So what we need to do, first of all, we need to go into workplaces and we click here. So you can see we have uh, my workplace uh, space. So we can click on that one. And here, you, either you can change this to your, any name you want. So basically you are working on an app and you will be testing some APIs so you can create a workspace here and you can do those things there. So you can change its name just by, uh, let's say, and it's going to be done. And you can also put some description if you want to, I'm not going to do right now. So, and uh, simply, then you can click create a request. Now when you create a request, you can come on this screen. Here, the first thing you see is the methods. So if you click here, you will get get, post, put, patch and delete. So these are the methods we will be using to doing the API requests. And here you will be putting the URL. Now, if you see here, we have send. So once you have the URL ready, the endpoint, you can click send and get the data. And the response back will be displayed here. Now, if you passing some params, some parameters, we can pass here. So we have key and then value we can put here. For authorization, we go here, we have few types and we can select any type. So if we are using tokens, we will be using here. If we require, let's say you're working with some API of Twitter or Facebook, you might need to pass some API key. So you need to use this authorization. The same way, uh, the other authorizations are here. We will be seeing uh, when we will be working with the API. The next is the headers. In headers, we also pass key and value. So what kind of data type we are using. So you would be putting here content type and you will be putting value something like JSON. In our case, we have body and here we have the format. And then we have pre-request script, which we are not going to use. We have tests we are not going to use here. And the settings, we are not going to touch anything so far in this one. So let's see an example how we can make a request. So uh, initially I showed you the website, uh, this JSON placeholder, where I have this URL and in this URL basically we are getting the posts. So I'm gonna, go, gonna copy here. And when we visit this URL, you get this data. So if we use the postman to get the same data, people should be getting it. So you would pass the URL and you hit send and we get the data. Now here, this is pretty uh, pattern. The meaning of pretty is basically when you click on raw, you get uh, something like this. In pretty, it is uh, displayed a bit colorful, so you, it's easy to read. Now we have uh, on this URL, there is no authorization required, so we got the data straight away. If there was any, we would have got some error. Now the noticeable things here is that we have the status code of 200, which is okay. And if you remember the status code video, we uh, saw that 200 is the uh, 200 uh, series codes is for the successful uh, response. So we have successful response, we are getting 200. Now in this, we are fetching all the posts. If I pass here, let's say five and hit send again, it is going to get the post where ID is five. So uh, it's getting it through that. Now we will see the examples of post, put and delete later on, but just to show you how things work in here. Now here, if you see, we have the data type JSON. 
we go next we have cookies which is empty right now the main thing that I want you to know is in the headers so when we go there you will notice here we have content type application JSON because we are receiving that data so this is something we will be passing as well so this is something important and headers is something we can check in our browser as well and I will display you how you can check in your browser as well when you be working there now one more thing before ending this video you can create few collections as well so if you see here on the left we have create collections so if you are let's say working on a production website some big project you can create a collection with that name so, so let's say production site and you can create a collection there just expand the collection and add the request you can see that it is going as a child there and you might have multiple childs here so all your requests to that production site will be under this collection then you create another and this another collection you can call it let's say local maybe your local project or some def testing work you're doing on API you can add all the correct requests under this so this becomes a very organized way you have your production or some serious project separately from your local and testing projects so that's something quite nice to see and uh, this is helpful also you can go into history and here you will see the requests you made so for today we have these requests for the previous we have few requests here so similarly you can trace back any requests that you might have created or made a few days back that can be very useful if you like the content of this channel and you want me to create more videos like this please support me on patreon you can also subscribe to this channel like this video and share with others thank you for watching